grand, it's historic, it's opulent, it's, it's, it, Moscow is amazing. Aesthetically, it's a very pretty place. Also, there are many boulevards, there are many parks, Gorky Park, Izmailova, there are many royal estates on the outskirts of Moscow you can visit. I've lived in Moscow on and off for six years. Um, I work for Russia Today Television. I host all their travel, entertainment and cookery programs. This here is the, like, the, the main point of where they, they mark the miles from in Russia, that point there. And people stand on it and throw money and it's meant to wish people good luck. There you go. So I make a wish and my lovely friend steals my wish. Only in Russia. It's like a frog with its tongue with a fly. <laughs> this building behind us is, um, is called Goom. It's an old department store. It's actually been here for 100 years. It's like the Harrods of, um, of, of Moscow. It's the epitome of new Russia. Now, do you know why Red Square is called Red Square? Well, many people think it's called Red Square because of either the, the red stars on top of the Kremlin Towers, because of the red bricked uh, the walls, or they think it's called Red Square because of communism. But actually, it's none of that. It's called Red Square because of the word for krasny, which is red, which is also another word for krasivi, which means beautiful. So Red Square actually means beautiful square. Now you know. This is Lenin's tomb behind us, um, which originally was a wooden structure when he died in the 1920s, but it was built into this granite, impressive piece. And there's rumours that he may be removed from the mausoleum and actually buried um, and given a proper burial. If you're visiting Moscow, um, maybe it's time to see him before he disappears. Saying that, I haven't seen him yet. So I think after this interview, I'll, I'll quickly queue up and see him. Well, welcome to St. Basil's, one of my favorite buildings in the entire world. Ivan the Great was so overwhelmed and, and it, it, to look at this breathtaking sight of beauty that straight away he ordered the architect to be blinded. Seize him out with his eyes so he can never create anything so beautiful again. But um, I was told since that that's probably not a true story because the architect went on after this to build the cathedral in Kazan. I think the thing I love about Moscow and Russia is that the history here is just staggering. It's been so tumultuous, especially in the last 100 years. Living in Moscow has been an amazing experience. It is a challenge. I'm not saying that it's all brilliant. You know, some people can be quite, quite down. There is corruption. There is minus, you know, 30 in the winter. That happens. But I think if you're a positive person, you make the most out of everything. Uh, you thrive on new adventures, experience and opportunity, then um, Moscow and travelling is a great place to, um, and great thing to do. Thank you. And Dostvidanya. Goodbye.